What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Movies, Music, Martial Arts. As you can see, I have a different setup. I think this, uh, this is a little more convenient for me. I got the mic here, I got the laptop in case I got to reference stuff. Um, and it's a little more, you know, a little tighter, but I think this, uh, this format will do, will do better uh, for everyone. So I hope you guys enjoy the show and let's get it started. So the first thing that um, I want to get into is the new trailer for Wonder Woman that just dropped overnight. So let's check it out and we'll take a look and analyze it. Um, I don't know too much about the Wonder Woman comics, but I'll do my best to, to uh, you know, give you guys my feedback. So let's take a look. Okay. My life Here we go. hasn't been what you probably think it has. We all have our struggles. Have you ever been in love? A long, long time ago. Kristen Wade will be playing yeah. Cheetah. So many times. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> we'll get to see her serious side now. Got the 80s vibe, the neon lights, 1984. Tommy Blonde. Welcome they to played the that song a lot in that movie. Life is good, but it can be better. Why shouldn't it be? All you need is to watch. The colors are awesome. Nice viper colors. Popping out. 80s vibe. In the mall. Think like Stranger Things. Having everything you always uh, it's Pedro Pascal, I believe. I Oh, look who it is. Look who's coming back. Yep. It's Chris Pine. The Habu. Yes. I think I want to return. The Mandalorian and Pedro Pascal returns. If you want to see. Well, not return. Uh -huh. That'd be the invisible Wonder Woman jet. Who hmm. needs you? Turned out walls. You know you need to do. Nice. Flashback to Themyscira. Beautiful. Okay. Nothing good is born from life. And great, this is not what you think. She's riding the lightning with a lasso, son. That's pretty dope. She got the new armor on. Okay. Full gold with the wings. Got the B-boys dancing. Dad, that's just the trash can. It's just the trash can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything's up. June 5th, 2020. Man, that trailer was dope. I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty dope. What do you guys think? Leave uh, leave your comments below. Um, let's take a look at the. Let's take a look at the characters here. So first of all, Patty Jenkins returns to direct this. Uh, she did an amazing job on the first one. Uh, you could tell that she really loves the characters and the so and the source material. Um, so Patty Jenkins returns, written by Geoff Johns and Patty J Jenkins, starring Pedro Pascal, Gal Gadot, Connie Nelson. Uh, let's see who else we got here. Take a quick look. Um, so Pedro Pascal stars as Max Lord. Um, so he looks like the overarching villain. Um, I believe he's got some telepathic powers. I'm not sure. I don't know too much about this guy. Uh, obviously, Gal Gadot returns as Diana Prince, a.k.a. Wonder Woman. Kristen Wiig will be Barbara Minerva, a.k.a. Cheetah. So she, I guess she's one of the extra villains here. Um, we get to see her. You know, we know her from comedy movies like Bridema Bridesmaids. Um, she was in the Ghostbusters remake. Anyway, but uh, she's a, she's a great actress. So now we get to see her, you know, her dynamic range playing a serious role of a villain. Um, we get to see her throw down with Wonder Woman. Hopefully, uh, it's got a huge supporting cast. So I'm looking forward to this one. Um, I enjoyed the first one. So yeah, what do you guys think? What'd you think of the trailer? 
leave your comments down below. And um, so that was the first trailer that debuted um, overnight. And now let's take a look at uh, the new Ghostbusters trailer. So this one is called Ghostbusters Afterlife. And um, let's take a look here at the trailer and then we'll get into the, the details. All right. What are you doing here in Somerville anyway? Honestly, my mom won't say it, but we're completely broke. And the only thing that's left in our name is that kid from uh, Stranger Things and farm, my grandfather the grandfather in the middle of nowhere. Movies. Why'd you bring yeah. me up here? Entertainment value. <laughs> oh, shit. What is that? Somehow, a town that isn't anywhere near a tectonic plate, that has no fault lines, no fracking, no loud music right. even, is shaking on a daily basis. I'm the dining table now! Hey, remember that one summer we died under a table? I found this in my living room. Oh, shit. Ghost trap. A replica of what? A ghost trap? Jason Reitman. There hasn't been a ghost sighting in 30 years. New York in the 80s? It's like The Walking Dead. Oh, nice. Your nice shot of the whole crew. It's just my mom. My grandfather died. My mom says we're just here to pick through the rub love's life. Wait a minute. Who are you? Call it faith. Call it law. Call it karma. I believe that everything happens for a reason. Ooh, maybe he's one of those those doggies. Nice shot of Ecto One. Oh shit. Is it gunner seat? Okay. Okay, not a bad teaser. Um, I guess I expected a little more. They showed a shot of, um, I think it was Egon's suit, right? Egon's old suit, Egon Spengler. Um, yeah, I'd like to see more, you know? I was excited for this. And um, let's take a look at the credits. So, here's the synopsis. When a mom and her two kids arrive in a small town, they begin to discover their connection to the original Ghostbusters and the, and the secret legacy their grandfather left behind. Um, directed by Jason Reitman, written by Dan Aykroyd, Gil Keenan, who else? Harold Ramis, um, I think Harold played Egon, if I'm not mistaken, and Jason Reitman, who also directed, who's the son of the original director of the Ghostbusters sequels. Ghostbusters 1 and 2 from the 80s. Um, so it looks like, okay, so Carrie Coon will be playing Callie. McKenna Grace will be playing Phoebe. Paul Rudd will be Mr. Gruberson. Bill Murray's coming back uh, he's, as Peter Bankman. Annie Potts is coming back as Janine Melnitz. Sigourney Weaver's coming back as Dana. Um, Finn Wolf Wolfhard um, from Stranger Things will be in it. So I guess he's the grandchildren. Uh, he's the grandchild of, of one of them. Maybe Egon, I think. Dan Aykroyd is returning as Raymond Stance. Uh, Bokeem Woodbine is Sheriff Domingo. Ernie Hudson is returning as Winston Zedmore. Um, and yeah, rest in peace to Harold Ramis, who passed away not so long ago. Egon Spengler. But what do you guys think? Um, I thought it was okay. I thought it wasn't anything uh, mind blowing, but hopefully they're building up for more. And that is coming out in 2020. There's a lot of good, a lot of new movies coming out in 2020. Um, but yeah, I thought that was pretty good.
Okay, so this is from uh, Cinema Blend. Earlier this week, Marvel fans were giving the first official look at the first entry into the universe's upcoming Phase 4 with the trailer for Black Widow, which I went over, uh, did a review for, not a review, a reaction for. And uh, Brazil's Comic-Con, Kevin Feige, now showed off the first ever footage of next year's Eternals. So Feige goes to say it is very, it's a very big movie, it's a very expensive movie, and we are making it because we believe in Zale's vision and we believe in what those characters can do and we believe we need to continue to grow and evolve and change and push our genre forward. That's a risk if I've ever had one. Okay, so I wanted to read the breakdown of the footage. So it said, so this premiered at um, Brazil's Comic Con the other day. And it says the footage starts with the door opening. An old man says he missed them to the beings before him. The Eternals with Icarus, Richard Madden, out in front and ask them to make themselves at home. The Eternals are wearing casual clothing rather than their costumes here. We then see the heroes laying on the beach, the sky's color indicating dusk is coming. It seems like they don't know where they are. During the evening, the Eternals are gathered around the fireplace. Ajak, Salma Hayek, is the leader of the group. There's also a shot of Cersei, Gemma Chan, Re reacting to something off screen. In the following scenes, we see what seems like the beginning of a battle. Ajax says, this land and these people, they changed us. Now we must protect them. Fina, Angelina Jolie, is the highlight of the scene, wearing white armor and striking an enemy's face. The Eternals are then shown flying, slowly, all of them get further away from the ground and seemingly absorb some type of energy, showing off the unimaginable power they share. The trailer ends with the Eternals logo formed by the golden lines presented on a purple background that resembles a galaxy. During the panel, Marvel Studios President Feige spoke about the future of the MCU and also said he misses Stan Lee, saying that the late comics legend would be proud of what the MCU has done. So this is uh, the source of this is IGN. Um, I'm looking forward to this. I, I don't know much about the Eternals, um, but I do know that they are all alien being ancient alien beings who have. Um, that's the thing. Like, I, I want to know plot wise if they were here for thousands of years, you know, where the hell were they during the events of, um, you know, the Infinity Saga? So I'd like for them to explain that a little bit um the, the cast looks very talented cast um so that is coming out in 2020 let me just double check when uh wow okay so the eternals is not coming out until november of 2020 and the synopsis is the saga of the eternals a race of immortal beings who lived on earth and shaped its history and civilizations so where the hell were they, you know, during the Battle of New York, during Ultron? You know, I'm being nitpicky, but I just hope that they explain, you know, why the fuck, you know, where were they, you know? Um, so directed by Chloe Zhao, uh, written by Matthew K. Furpo, and screenplay. Let me just read through the cast real quick. So it stars Angel Angelina Jolie as Thena, Richard Madden as Icarus, Selma Hayek as Ajak, Gemma Chan as Cersei, Kit Harington from Game of Thrones, uh, Jon Snow, as Dane Whitman, Kumail Nanjani as Kingo, Barry Kilgan as Druig, Brian Tyree Henry as Fastos, Dong Siokma as Gilgamesh, Lia McHugh as Sprite, and Lauren Ridloff as Makari. So it's is a very talent heavy cast. Um, so I just, you know, this is a huge production and I think that this will define the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm, I'm very curious to see how this plays out with future movies, how they're gonna tie into new storylines, new, you know, it's just, wow. It's just, you know, it's the passing of the torch, I guess, to, to the new set of heroes that are coming in. and. Man, that's a, it's a heavy weight to hold, you know? 
going into the future of the MCU. So I'm very much looking forward to this. So um, just a notable mention, this TV show I, I got into um, uh, Watchmen. So it is based off the graphic novel. Um, it does not pick up off the events of the of the movie um, directed by Zack Snyder, which I, I saw. Um, so I think the movie is loosely based on the graphic novel, but so it does connect some events that happened in the movie to the TV show because it's really good. I highly recommend it. Uh, I've been watching it since the first episode and it's uh, it's really good. I mean, you know, the man, everybody's talking about the Mandalorian, but this is like this is right up there with it. If not, you know, right like this, it's not. It's very serious, you know, there's a lot of layers to it. You really need to understand the story. And and uh, I, I watch a lot of breakdown videos because you could easily get lost. Uh, it's a lot of layers to this, but if you get it, it's, it's an amazing show. Um, starring Regina King. She's an amazing actress. So Watchmen, set in an alternate history where mass vigilantes are treated as outlaws. Watchmen embraces the nostalgia of the original groundbreaking graphic novel of the same name while attempting to break new ground of its own. Um, I just saw the, I think the eighth episode is actually ends next, next weekend. They're going to wrap up the, the season. I hope they come back for a second season because this is just so much story to tell. Um, man, I, I, uh, I'm not going to get it too much into it i just want to say i highly recommend it if you're not even if you haven't watched it definitely binge the first season of watchmen all right guys so um this wraps up the latest episode of movies music martial arts um i'll be back soon talk about some fights some upcoming ufc fights um i hope to get a guest on so that at least over the phone so we could go over some uh, really good fights that are lined up. They just had a really good event over the weekend in DC. Uh, Alistair Overeem got his lip just cracked in half. Um, but really good fights. This uh, this one guy hit a twister, which is a very popular 10th planet technique. Um, but yeah, I won't get into that too much. Um, maybe I'll do a separate segment just to go over fights and stuff like that. But um, yeah. It was a fun episode. We went over some really, some really uh, exciting trailers for upcoming movies next year, and uh, some footage of new MCU stuff. And it's it's an exciting time to to be a movie nerd, you know. So till next time, um, please like and subscribe. Uh, hope you guys tune in for the next episode, and uh, we'll be back soon. Peace.